What's up guys, it's Alex and today I've got a pretty cool video for you guys. If this is your first time tuning in to the Alex Red Fishing channel, number one, I want to tell you how much I appreciate you clicking on this video and checking it out. But number two, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. I'll let you guys know when I put out all of my videos and help to grow the Alex Rudd Fishing community. But like I said, I've got a pretty cool video today. Today we're going to be doing a ginormous unboxing, probably one of the biggest unboxings that I'll do on my channel this year. But number two, I've got a huge announcement to make and that announcement is that I'm going with all lose rods and reels this year. Now I know a lot of you guys that have been around the channel for a while have known that I've been with G-Rod for almost four years now and G-Rod was a huge supporter of my channel and I cannot just tell them because I know Glenn's probably watching this right now I cannot tell them how much I appreciate them supporting the channel like they did over the past four years and they were just a huge asset to Alex Red Fishing but like I said I decided to go with all lose rods and reels this year and the main reason was you guys all the comments the DMs the emails all that you know all those things that I get you guys always tell me, Alex, I'm a fisherman on a budget. I want to get the most quality piece of gear I can for the most affordable price. And really, guys, Luz is the company to do that with. Um, I believe that Luz is making the most quality products that they possibly can at prices that real anglers, anglers on a budget, weekend warriors, dudes going out there and putting in the grind during the work week and then going and putting in the grind on the lake during the week. Uh, weekends can afford and so that's why I went with all lose this year it's really coming full circle back to what this channel was from the very beginning the very beginning of this channel I was always advocating for really quality products at very affordable prices and so that's what we're kind of going back to not to say that g-rod is not a quality product because honestly guys probably the best rod on the market the best rod made but with that quality comes a very very quality price tag and a lot of people cannot afford that rod it takes a very special consumer to buy that rod whereas with lose you're able to get that same quality um, and that the, all those features and all the things that you need but not go out and break the bank doing it so it was a decision made mostly for you guys the good you know the viewers who dudes out there watching these videos and honestly guys you know I don't care if you use loser rods and reels or not but if you decide to use a lose rod and reel because of me number one that's awesome that I even you know like can help you to make that decision but number two I want to know that you guys are getting exactly what you want getting the quality that you need but still not breaking that bank and that's the most important thing to me is that if you do buy something based on what I say that you're getting exactly what you think you're getting and that you can go out and use it for many many years to come but like I said we got to unbox them and it's a big unboxing number one is this little box there's a couple reels in here and then number two, I got two rod tubes behind me here full of loose rods. So we're going to get into this box first just because it is a little package and then we'll get into the rods back there and see what all I bought. So the first two things is a couple reels that I got. Um, these are a couple reels that I've been excited to try. One is something that the people over at Lose honestly would like blew up this year at iCast and we're like, Alex, listen, you have got to try this reel. The price point is ridiculous. We really shouldn't be selling it this cheap, um, but it is absolutely ridiculous quality. And then the other one is one that I've just been wanting to try out and I think is going to be a good little matchup for a combo that I got. So let's get into that one first and that is the Lose Tournament Pro. I got this one in a 6-8 gear ratio. This reel is going to go on my lipless crankbait rod. Um, that's what that 6-8 gear ratio is about. You know, a little bit smaller spool, low profile reel, and really it's so I can put that 12 pound test on there and go out and drag a lipless around, drag a bigger um, size square bill, those kinds of things. It's really what this reel is gonna be used for, and I'm super excited about it. This one actually doesn't have the uh, wind grips on it, which is pretty cool. I've not had one without wind grips on it in a while. And then you got that awesome black and gold paint job on there as well, which is, is really cool. I'm, I'm super excited to use this one. And the next one is the one I was telling you guys about, the really affordable reel, but the one that Lou's just blew up this year to me and was like, Alex, you gotta try that out. And that is the Lou's Classic Pro. Now this is a $59 reel, but from what I'm hearing, it performs at a $200 price tag. Um, so I'm super excited to try this thing out. It's got some awesome accents. It's an all black uh, gold accents. 
just really really cool looking reel but that 59 dollars price point is huge for me let me see here so we've got it can hold 110 yards of 12 pound test it's got four plus one bearings inside of it 15 pounds max drag uh, this is a 7.5 gear ratio, so that's 30 inches per handle turn, and it weighs 7 ounces. It's got the zero reverse, it's got the speed gears, the MCX magnetic control. It's got everything that you know and love from a lose reel at a very affordable price point. And honestly, guys, I am... I'm super excited to try this thing out. I mean, I you know me. I got some $99 Lose LFSs that I absolutely love. So if this thing performs anything like that reel does for a $59 price point, I'm going to be blown away. So yeah, really excited to get this one on a rod and put it to good use. Now, let's get into these rods. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to unbox these things, get them completely out of the package, and then we'll just go through them one by one and talk about what I got because there's uh, 11 rods and reels, or 11 rods back there. So it's going to take me a while to get all the plastic off of them and get them ready to actually talk about it. So, cute timeline. Okay, I think it's everything. Lord of mercy. Okay, you go over there. Stay, don't move. I think it's all of them. Let's, uh, let's get over here. Oh. All right! Yeah! Oh, lordy, that's what, uh, that's what 10 rods and reels looks like right there. So, let's, uh, Let's start going through them. All right, guys, so I'm just going to kind of start shifting through them here, talking about what I got. My gosh, it's been the year of the spinning rod, so I guess we'll start with the spinning rod. That or it's just the one on top. But um, every good fisherman needs at least one, one fairy wand, and the fairy wand that I decided to get was the Luz Custom Pro 6.9 Mark Rose all-purpose uh, signature series rod. You know, honestly, guys, I got this for a little bit of everything. Spy baits, wacky rigs, shaky heads. It is just like Mark Rose said. He designed this thing to just be good at about everything you could do with a spinning rod. And honestly, guys, that's all that I need. So that's the one that I went with there on my spinning setup. Really excited to try this one out. I love the, the Custom Pro series of rods. I love the grips on them. I love the guides. Um, I love the blanks. It's that LFS XS blank and they're just wicked. The next one is going to be my jerk bait rod and that is the Luz TP1 Black Speed Stick 610, I believe. Nope, 68 medium moderate fast. So perfect little jerk bait rod. That moderate action, that mod fast really allows you to really load into those fish with those jerk baits because essentially you're fishing a crankbait, you're just jerking it. Um, so I like that mod fast action on there. But I love these TP1 black rods. For the price that you get these things at, they're absolutely phenomenal rods. This will make my fourth one that I have. And then the combo um, is just absolutely insane. I love the combo when you get the, the reel and everything with it, but I love the rods as well. The next one, let's see here, what do I want to grab? Ooh, this one right here. This is the David Fritz Perfect Cranking Stick by Luz. This is the seven foot medium. This is where I'm going to be throwing like my bandits, my square bills, all that stuff you guys know I love to throw in the fall, the winter. That time is coming up fast and I cannot wait. But what is awesome about this cranking stick is I actually got my dad a couple of these with my last lose order and he fell in love with them. And then I used one for chatterbaits for a little while. But this is a $69 rod. So for an incredible price, you get an incredible rod that you can go out and throw crankbaits on because a lot of the times, you know, those glass cranking sticks are a little bit more expensive just because of the materials that have to go into them. But Luz and Mr. David Fritz got together and made the perfect cranking stick at a perfect price point for that. Now the next one is that same rod just in the seven and a half foot medium heavy version. 
I'm gonna be using this one for lipless crankbaits, a little bit bigger square bills like the 4.0s and stuff like that. I like a seven and a half foot rod when I'm fishing liplesses because a lot of the time I'm gonna be fish, fishing them really shallow. I like to keep it rod tip in the air and just you know really work that thing through grass beds and stuff like that. And that medium heavy allows me to really crack that thing if I need to and pop it out of that grass. But you still get that glass you know, composite style action, that real moderate bend and really allows you to load into those fish and not rip those treble hooks out. So super excited about that one. I also love the color on that thing. You guys can see that green gold in there. Yeah, I love that. It looks like the old Carrados is what it looks like. And I just absolutely love that color. So the next one, see. oh Lord, careful now. Careful now, careful now. You just sit right there now. Um, the next one is my meat stick. This right here is gonna be my swim bait rod. This is the Luz Super Duty number four. It's the heavy flipping swim bait grass puncher rod. It's a 711 extra heavy, moderate fast. So even though you got that extra heavy, that giant just horse of a rod, you still get that moderate action, which allows that rod to load up down into the bank a little bit more so that when you are fishing those big swim baits, you're not gonna rip those treble hooks out, but instead you're gonna drive those treble hooks in. But super excited to use this rod. I'm gonna pair it up with my Lou's Super Duty 300. You got the wind grips on the back there. You got the white going into the non-painted blank, which I love that non-painted blank and i'm just super excited to try this one out this is going to be one that's definitely going to be put to the test it says lure weight three to ten ounces um but we'll have to throw the old uh the old depths 250 on there and really really see what this thing has got so that is my big swim bait rod that one is a little big 7-eleven that one's that one's long oh lord we we'll get another one falling. Careful now, careful now. You see, he's on down there. There we go. All right, the next one is for my big crankbaits. This is a seven and 11 and a half heavy, moderate action crank and stick. This again is a Lose Custom Pro. This is Mark Rowe's signature series cranking rod, specifically made for ledge fishing. I'm really excited about this one too. This is why I'm gonna be throwing six XDs, eight XDs, 10 XDs on. Just my big cranking stick. And I know what you're thinking, Alex, why in the world do you need three cranking sticks? Was well, because I crank a whole, whole lot. Whether it's summer, spring, fall, winter, it doesn't matter. I crank a ton, so having cranking sticks is huge for me. Having cranking reels is huge for me. And so, you know, I really didn't spare any expense on the cranking rods. Um, and really, you know, for that price point that that David Fritz rod is coming in at, you know, it's kind of incredible that you get that quality of rod in that price point, that $59, $69, $79 price point. So it's really, really cool. Moving on here, this one is gonna be fun to throw around. This is another Lose Custom Pro. As you guys can tell, I love the Custom Pros. I love the cork handle. It's like a cork composite EVA. It's actually a cork EVA split handle. You got the exposed blank on the bottom. And then this rod is just wicked. It's that LFS XS blank and I just love it. I've got this in um, a seven and a half foot cranking stick that I use for my uh, bladed jigs as well. So this one's gonna be no different, but this is the ledge swim bait. So this is a seven and a half foot medium heavy mod fast. And this is gonna be an interesting little rod because I really got it to throw big worms on, um, swim baits, but not giant swim baits. Just that little bit bigger stuff. That stuff, you know, like heavy football heads, heavy shaky heads, big worms. That where you just need a little bit more butt in your rod, but you don't really need like a seven foot or a seven three medium. You need to bump it on up there and go like seven and a half foot medium heavy. You know, those just a little bit bigger baits, like the bull worm is a great example of what I'm gonna use this for. But super excited to use that one as well. And then the last rod, I can ease everything down in here real easy like careful now is this one this is the big pitching stick seven and a half foot heavy this is one of those loose super grip rods i got this in a seven three medium heavy a seven four heavy and now a seven and a half foot heavy and really all those rods are made for getting the fish out of the grass just smacking them square in the freaking face and dragging them out of stuff and uh, this is actually the rod that Greg Hackney likes to use for flipping. This one and the 711 one is the one he likes to use for flipping big weights and stuff like that. And um, then he's obviously coming out with his own signature series, but this one I'm super excited to put to the test and see what I can do. And this one and the seven and a half foot swim bait are gonna come in handy tomorrow because I'm going to a little sneaky lake with a lot of grass and a lot of big fish that like to eat swim baits. But yeah, guys, there you go. I am so excited 
to be working with all loose stuff this year. Super excited to just really see how these rods and reels can do and like have rods and reels that are super accessible to you guys and rods that you guys can go out and buy anytime, anywhere and put them to good use just like I can. But as always guys, thank you for watching. Any questions or comments, please go leave them in the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. I'll let you guys know when I put out all my videos. Also, go down in the description. I have links to lose. You guys can go check out all the rods and stuff that I uh, mentioned in today's video. What I'll do is just leave a list of all the links to all the rods and reels so you guys can check them out. But, as always, you guys are sweet. Thanks for watching.